All right, now I'm just kind of getting uh, getting set up. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on the title screen for uh, for a second or two, but uh, I am I am here, and uh, the uh, Will, can you hear me? Just want to make sure that uh, every, everything is uh, everything's working out well. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. So, anyway, I'm just gonna. Oops. I don't need necessarily need there. Uh, let's go over here. There we are. <coughs> Hi, Dave. The. Okay, so we're good. Everybody can see me. Okay. The. Um, Right. Well, I, I had put up just the splash screen for uh, for for a moment, um, just just to kind of get uh, to get started. Uh, there's a few people co uh, coming over from uh, the. Hi, everybody. Uh, just there's a few people co uh, coming over, and uh, welcome, uh, welcome, Larry. Uh, the welcome. Hey, Ralph. <coughs> The what paint? Yes, that's uh, well. That's the thing. Um, uh, it 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 genuinely is an is a, is a, is an is a new type, and uh, not surprisingly, it's from Games Workshop. And I'll, I'm going to get it, get into that in in a, in a little bit. Um, something quite interesting. Um, and the the pots of this have never been opened. Um, th I just picked them up this past week. Uh, and uh, that's that's part of uh, part of what what we're uh, what I'm going to be uh, what I'm going to be. Uh, and the trombone has made an appearance. What? You called for it. <laughs> the I just didn't quite expect uh, quite expect it. <clears throat> She's offered to play the trombone anytime I get a super chat. I was just going to do this little train whistle here, but but Too she, bad. but uh, she's she's off uh, she's offered the trombone. So anyway, <sighs> yeah, I guess so. And and uh, Ian is right here, and he's going to probably yell at uh, yell at some point, um, and uh, we'll get the get the get the musical, uh, the musical interlude. Yes, she's rented it first of the summer. Megan is officially done grade eight, and I'm getting too old. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so we should do a live stream just counting your gray hairs. Uh, yeah, no, no, I think, I think we're okay with that. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to put us into the intro sequence. Welcome, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome Sparky. And, uh, there's, there's our first moderator. So I'm just going to run us through the intro and there we go. There we are. And I'm gonna just bring this back, and back we go. And there, just there we are. <clears throat> so Megan's gonna pull up. Uh, uh, Megan, the uh, someone asked to count the gray hairs on on your head. Yeah, yeah. So, but anyway. Uh, yeah, well, you see, Megan turns 14 this fall, as she constantly reminds me, and uh, she gets in Alberta, that means she's allowed to get a learner's permit. Um, so, that is just frightening me. Well, um, lear me learning how to drive? Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Anyway, so welcome everybody. Uh, t tonight is more of a more of an impromptu kind uh, kind of thing, and it, it was largely spawned by a couple of purchases I I, I made this week, and uh, it, it had to do with with doing a couple of new uh, the uh, it had to do with uh, purchasing a couple a, a couple of new. Uh, Paints that were new to me, but also paints that were new to everybody. And um, the the ones that were new to me uh, were actually uh, this one is not the one that I'm demonstrating here. This is the um, uh, the oil brusher set. Actually, you know what? Um, I have a I have a little uh, camera inset right here. Um, these are from uh, these are the oil brusher sets from uh, the Ammo by Mig. Uh, and this is the Starship set, and um, 
uh, and then I've also got the uh, the light fading set. Uh, the nice thing about those is they're actually really quite inexpensive. Um, but because they're oil based, uh, I'm not. That's not actually what I'm doing the uh, the live uh, the live test on. Um, but I, I am going to talk a little bit about the oil brushes. Has anybody here tried out the uh, tried out these uh, these new oil brushes? Um, I'm uh, just just let me uh, let me know uh, let me know in the chat and. Um, so um, yes, Ralph. The um, I, I was wondering. I I seem to remember you saying something about about using the oil brushers. Um, the really cool thing about this is that that quite often uh, a critique that Ralph and I both receive is that some of the materials that we use are kind of expensive. Just to give you an idea, these three oil brushers cost the same amount as one of these pots of paint. Um, and 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 uh, so that's actually less than a the, less than a tube of um, uh, of regular oil paint, but they're pre-mixed and they're ready to go. And so I, I'm looking forward to using them. I've got something downstairs that that is on uh, that I am trying to work on. Uh, hi Norman, um, the hi. The hi everybody. I'm I'm just trying to trying to go through. We've got we've got Norman. We've got uh, William Sullivan. We've got Train Guy Fifty Six. We've got uh, Will Kling, Ralph Rancetti, Of course, welcome. Uh, the Georgia uh, Georgia Sunbelt. Um, Dwayne Ernest. Uh, the EJ and, e, uh, and Container Man. Matt Armstrong. Uh, oh Matt, don't worry about being late. We haven't we barely even started yet. So. You missed the opening trombone. Oh yeah, we you missed the um, uh, the opening trombone shot, but uh, you're you're okay. I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna live with that. So, oh, what I wanted to what I wanted to talk about, I'm I'm gonna get a chance to use these these oil brushers in 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 a little bit, uh, but not but not tonight. I or at least not tonight on 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 camera, and I'm having a cat thrown in my ear. Um, so. What I wanted to do was was to actually uh, talk talk a little bit about uh, something that has been through uh, a, a project that I've been uh, that I've been working on. Some of you might remember that uh, one of the first commission projects uh, that I uh, that I got uh, after doing the, my Patreon channel is um, the Cloverdale Rail commissioned me to do a uh, the Hiawatha um, uh, Skytop car. Uh, and to put it into Canadian national uh, Canadian national colors, um, and so it's nearly done. Here it is, right here. It's um, the windows are still masked off because I, I just did the last clear coat on it. So the next thing to do is to remove the masks uh, and and to put the uh, to put the trucks on. Um, but what you don't see with all those masks on there is there are about twenty little figures that I painted and put inside and detailed the interior for, um, uh, for Marcel. So, it, I mean, I mean, it's re really, it's really nice. The, um, uh, I, there's a really neat trick about using, uh, Lindor chocolate wrappers as the masking, uh, for, for the windows. Uh, that's going to be in the video that, uh, that I do with this, but what took the longest was to actually paint the individual uh, to paint the individual min uh, miniatures, and uh, Megan actually has one of those, uh, at least from the same set, uh, just here in the mini cam. Actually, I've got a big mini cam. Let's. Uh, she's got to back it off a little bit because it's going to be a little bit blurry. Um, uh, but that's basically uh, what one of the miniatures uh, looked like, and uh, I what I what I want to do is actually demonstrate. Um, the not so much what I did because it took me a long time to do the miniatures, but this month uh, Games Workshop released an entirely new kind of paint, uh, and they're they're called uh, contrast paints. Um, and the and what the I was very curious as to how they actually work, uh, and so tonight is actually me trying it out in front of you to see what uh, to see what it's what it's like. So who gets to eat all the chocolate for the Lindor chocolates? Um, uh, Ian and my wife and me. Um, no. Well, I didn't get too many of them, but anyway. <laughs> so, so yes, uh, there's a real benefit of using the Lindor chocolate wrappers, you, but you need the red ones. Um, so, uh, William Sullivan, uh, th yes, this car, this is this is an HO scale um car 
started life as uh, as uh, um, from uh, from the Hiawatha. So it was orange and uh, orange and brown, quite uh, quite bright colors. Um, and so it was uh, part of it was repainting it, but the the main thing was to actually do the interior. Oh, and it's also fully lit. It's got a lighting kit in it, uh, in it that I've also added. Uh, so, um, so there's, there's that. So Ron, uh, Ron Brights, is there a good paint for painting figures? Well, guess what we're going to do? That is exactly what we're doing. Uh, what we're doing tonight, uh, is we are going to literally crack open these paints and see how well they work for painting, um, the, just painting, uh, this little guy right uh, right here, uh, as well as just, if you can see it a little bit better, I've also got a little bit of, uh, uh, sort of pre-made terrain here uh, that I'm I'm, I'm going to be using uh, as uh, as well. So, yes, Dave, there is you know, when it comes to finding um, uh, volunteers for cho uh, for eating chocolate, it's not that hard. Not that hard at uh, at all. Uh, so what what I'd like to do is uh, if if um, if you'll indulge me, we're gonna we're gonna um, uh, move down to the to the hobby desk. Um, now, before, before I do that, um, see, unfortunately, um, I need these. Um, so I have to take off my glasses, uh, being able to put, put that, uh, put that down in order to be able to see everything. So that means I can't see any comments. That's why Megan is, uh, is my eyes, um, uh, for, uh, for this. And, uh, as it happens, I also, uh, have a little bit of a, a, a light here. So... I'm now transitioning over, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to uh, sort of talk talk my way th uh, way th through this. Unfortunately, the webcam that I have here isn't the greatest. Um, it tends to focus a little bit fur further out. Um, I'm kind of the we're just going to bring uh, bring the light in uh, in on it as best as best we can. But what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is this also t takes you through sort of my uh, in in painting miniatures of, of what I do, but I'm going to be doing it almost a little bit backwards. Um, so uh, it, it, at least so, uh, so that you can actually see, uh, see what I'm doing without necessarily my fingers uh, get it, getting in the way too much. Um, so now we got to make sure that, that I can actually, I can actually see that. So what, uh, what we have here is th this is just basically a, 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 like a business, a business traveler of some, some sort. And my usual process for painting miniatures, I usually have started, start with black primer and, um, do that. Uh, oh, uh, Sparky, the, these, these figures are, uh, these are HO scale Walther's scene master, uh, passenger figures. Um, got them from my local hobby shop. Um, the trains and such here in Calgary. Um, and when I like the video that will go with the um, uh, with the Skytop car goes into detail of, of how I actually painted the miniatures for that. And so this is a new type because this is a new type of paint. Um, I get to see how uh, how this works in comparison to what uh, to what I've just done. Um, so that's that's going to be uh, be part of it. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to get straight into this. I've got my water pot right here, just right, right beside it. Um, and the, so you get to vote on some of the colors that I, that I get to try. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, this is called, uh, uh, this is a flesh tone. It's called Gull uh, Gulliman for, uh, Flesh. If you've ever played any of the Games Workshop products, you'll, you'll kind of know what, uh, what, uh, what those are like. Um, does my local hobby shop carry the paint? Uh, no, my local game shop does, or any games workshop store um, uh, around. So this one is you've got to look for go into game uh, a shop that sells like Warhammer games workshop. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a games workshop in uh, in town, uh, that's um, our local shop. Our local game shop here is called the Sentry Box. Um, so, uh, yeah, and, and yes, the, so this is an HO scale figure. Um, I have painted N scale figures, uh, as, as well. And the, the advantage of painting something like this versus say some of the stuff from Warhammer is nobody looks to check to see if you've painted the eyes. So the very first thing I'm going to do is, um, I've already, I've already cracked up, uh, open the paint, although really I, I should give it a, give it a good shake. Um, it seems to have kind of almost like the consistency of a wash. Um, and 
the I'm just taking a little bit of the paint, putting it on my, just putting a little bit on uh, on on the on the palette, um, and the this is way more uh, really way more than uh, than I need. But the idea is, and I'm just going to try uh, try and do this where you can see this. So I'm sort of looking back up on the screen, and I'm painting the skin. And all I'm doing here is just lightly drawing it along. Um, now this is it. It kind of goes on a little bit like a wash. Um, but one of the things that I want to make sure that I do as I uh, as I'm doing this is, even though it kind of goes on a little bit like like a wash, it's not a wash. Um, it almost seems like a uh, a mix of a wash uh, and and the like. So, um, uh, the so I'm not uh, again the my my camera here is uh, isn't necessarily the greatest. I'm kind of hoping that you can kind of see that. But uh, really, just by doing that, uh, the eye detail, the face detail, actually sta uh, stands out quite uh, quite nicely. Um, so and then that's the skin. That's basically the skin done. So the question is, this is a business traveler. Um, my choices for a suit are, um, I can go brown, I can go kind of a grayish blue, which I'm kind of leaning towards because that might show it better, and then and then black. The trouble is, uh, the black won't really show up, so um, do we have a vote for a color? Um, oh, yeah, if you really want to do it, I've also got green. Um... And oddly enough, I have white. So the okay, Ralph, you're saying grayish blue, all right? So, <laughs> hi Marcel. Life. Actually, here, let's pause for a second because I want to show Marcel his uh, the um, the I, I just displayed your own uh, your car. So let me just pause and go uh, go back and uh, Marcel. <laughs> I was just showing everybody your car. Okay, enough with the long tone. <sighs> anyway, let's let's go back. So I think I think we are going to go with uh, we're going to go with the grayish blue to, just to see how it turns uh, how it turns out. Um, so, oh right, totally forgot uh, the the. Uh, thankfully, Megan is a second pair of eyes, especially when I don't have my glasses on. Uh, is that uh, the Will? You were asking a question of did I shoot primer on the figure first? Yes, uh, specifically, uh, this was kind of a gray primer. Um, uh, Games Workshop has, with these contrast paints, has put out two new types of primer. Uh, their base primers were a black and a white, which you can still use, although black you don't want to use with these. But then they've now put out one called uh, Gray Sear, um, which is what I what this is primed with. It's uh, it's called Gray uh, Gray Sear, which is kind of a uh, a gray. Here, let's let's put it. Uh, so that's that is a that's a gray primer, even though the figure itself is actually almost kind of an off white color. Um, so that's primed uh, that's primed a uh, sort of a lightish gray. The other primer that they have available is called Wraith Bone, and it's more of a uh, it's it's a bone color. It's sort of a very very pale yellow, and the idea is if you're using cool colors such as uh, such as this um, such such as this blue gray, uh, it tends to uh, bring out a little bit better, and then because uh, it'll interact with the coat. And of course, you can always do this over white. But the suggestion is don't do it over black. Um, so anyway, uh, now I am going to uh, just move this uh, back in, and we're gonna shake up the, uh, shake up this pot of the. Uh, this is called uh, Griff Charger Gray. Uh, Games Workshop has always got some really really interesting uh, color uh, color names. Um, and so again, I'm, I'm, I'm just using a single brush. Uh, I'm putting it out on the palette and I'm not even watering it down. That's the really interesting thing about this. Um, is that I'm, I'm, I'm not even watering the brush, uh, the wa the paint down. It's straight out of the pot. So we're just trying to, trying to get it so we can actually be seen on the screen. And let's see how this goes. 
By the way, you just didn't see me lick my brush. So we're gonna we're gonna give this uh, this a try, and just draw this kind of a blue gray across um, across the figure. And again, it feels very very much like uh, feels very much like a wash. Uh, I'm trying to keep it out. Uh, trying to keep it out of the. Um, uh, out of the area of the shirt uh, that I didn't really get a, 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 too much of a chance to do. Um, and so now I'm just going to work my way around uh, around the model, down the back. Now, of course, this is parts that you're not actually going to you're not actually going to see um, because this, of course, in theory. Um, Okay, and yes, I'm a brush licker. Very happy to be a brush licker. Okay, um, all right. So now I realize that in the middle of this, I didn't do hands, which I'm going to do here. And I'm doing, I believe, hands right on here. Now, the better the detail on the actual model itself, the better, uh, the better it's going to look. Um, so, <laughs> do I lick my brushes before or after applying paint? Yes. <laughs> the um, all right. So. Um, <laughs> Um, now part of this, I am doing this in a little bit of a hurry. So, um, so these paints are still, uh, still kind of, kind of wet. The skin, the skin tone has, uh, appears to have dried. Um, but that seems to be going, uh, going fairly well. Uh, now, I, uh, now that the skin tone has dried a little bit, I'm going to do a hair color. Um, so we got a hair color and I think, um, let's just cover that up. And so my choices for hair color are a dark brown uh, or black. Um, so any uh, so any ch uh, any choices? Okay, so <clears throat> so this one um, the uh, we have uh, this one tends to be a, a little bit a little bit darker. So. Um, yeah, I know. I know, Bill. Um, you know what? Actually, hang on. Let me bring it back to the other camera uh, that you can probably see this a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to trans uh, transition this uh, back. So this is what it this is what it looks like so f uh, so far. Okay. I can get that fairly close to fairly close to the camera. Uh, you know, I'm going to follow this up with a couple of pictures over on the Facebook page of what this actually looks like as, as best as I can. Um, and, um, the, this, this one is, uh, it like, it's really quite interesting on, on how, on how it's applying. Um, it's nearly, this is nearly dry. Um, now the, so uh, yeah, and unfortunately, th uh, this this webcam here really is just not not up to scratch for uh, for what I for what I need to do here. There's um, always super chat, people. Megan. Yes. I wasn't gonna flog that anyway. So. So, but we're gonna tr we're gonna try doing up the hair, and I think what I, I'm gonna also do is um. Uh, the we're gonna. So this 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 brown paint uh, this wildwood is uh, it it goes on to the palette a lot darker. Um, I'm just bringing this out. This is you know it looks in the in the camera under this light it looks almost black. Um, so we're we're gonna we're gonna see see there. Uh, yeah, money flying away. Okay. All right. So I just need to pull off my glasses. And I'm just going to try and carefully 
paint. Just doing a little bit here. And then I'm going to paint the briefcase. So. so the briefcase is just is just under uh, just under the arm here. Um, and again, I'm having real trouble with uh, with the lighting here. Um, and so finally. Um, the with that I am going to do you know what I'm just gonna do a uh, do up the shoes now <clears throat> in essence um, here let me just bring this back to the main camera Oh, <clears throat> the Megan, we have our first super chat. So to Roy container man, thank you very much. I'm coming. So, um, this is just kind of in the, uh, in the way here, but there largely is now Keep in mind, this is not a figure that's going to win you any awards at all. Uh, this is, um, you know, you, you can kind of see here uh, a, a little bit, but uh, you've basically got a, uh, a, gray, a gray suit. Um, all right, there's a... There we are. Okay, so, uh, so again, the uh, just this is not. I need to take a picture and like, like put it uh, put it up here. Make your screen as big as po uh, as as possible to uh, to see this. Uh, what I am going to do is when when I'm finished the li uh, the live chat. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sparky. Yeah. So anyway, so there, uh, so there we go. Now, uh, this one, okay, this is just a tiny little figure, but fortunately, I do have something a bit bigger uh, that that you can actually see. Uh, you might be able to see how the paint actually interacts with it. Um, now, where did it, it disappear on me? Um, Hmm. Okay, I guess I have to wait for my daughter to get uh, to get back. Be oh, here it is. Okay, so this uh, is just a, a piece of scenic fence that has both uh, stones uh, and wood, uh, as well as a bit of grass. Um, so this might be a little bit easier for uh, for you to, for you to see because it's it's much it's much bigger. Uh, the camera still sucks. Let's be honest. Um, but, um, I'm just going to get a slightly larger brush. So, whoops. Uh -oh. Megan knocked my camera over. Okay. So just to give you an idea, to do just the skin tone alone using my regular method of paints, um, I would need to use a base coat of pink, a wash, like a specific wash, uh, and then, and then a highlight. In other words, to get the same thing that I just I just did is uh, three is three different step three different steps. Um, can you get that, Megan? Please, just to make sure it didn't spill. Okay, so um, since I haven't used the black uh, the black yet, oh boy. <laughs> My daughter just brought out some eyeshadow. 
So that worries me. So we're going to see how a um, couple of these stones, I'm going to use just the, uh, just the black. Um, and so I just need to make sure that this is in front of the camera. Okay, so I'm just going to pick out one right, uh, right about here. Yeah, and I, th I think it's I think it's okay. So I'm just painting that on. Now the black's a little hard to see, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a different uh, like a, a different color. Um, so um, I think okay. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of green to do some uh, some of the grass uh, just along the bottom here. Um, and you can kind of, you can kind of see uh, how what it what it does is it creates natural um, natural shadows, natural highlights. Uh, the uh with that and and again i'm going to switch off to the uh to the main the main camera on the computer because frankly it's better um just making sure i don't spill anything here let's switch this back off okay so the that is the bl uh that is the black uh intended to be used more of a kind of a stone color and then uh, and then some of the some of the green uh to give you kind of that that kind of blended uh, blended look um so that uh, so that kind of uh that kind of gives you an idea of how this might work on a uh, on a slightly larger scale um but i have to say that i i'm i am really actually quite impressed actually i need to shut this light off um and can everybody see this The, cause that's largely, um, uh, that's largely, largely uh, dried. Uh, yes, there is a bit of yellow in that green. Um, it, it, it's the nature of that particular, uh, that particular culture, uh, uh, color. Uh, but anyway, there's, you know, put it, put it this way. If I was doing a, um, uh, <laughs> it looks like Clark Kent. Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's the only thing that I haven't done on this is actually paint the tie, and the tie I would probably just use conventional colors to uh, to uh, to paint rather than rather than the uh, the contrast paints. Now, someone has suggested put a paper behind it, Ralph. That's a good idea. Let's see if that works. Except my fingers. Um. And I'm going to hold that there for a li for a little bit. Yes, and um, the uh, William uh, Williams. Um, yes, it is very good for miniatures. It is not so good on on uh, on larger uh, larger flat surfaces. For example, if you were doing like a, a an end scale Cape Cod house. I could see this working really, really well. I think one of the one of the colors we haven't tested tonight that is uh, I'm very curious to try is they actually have a white, and uh, how uh, and and what it is. If you look really, really carefully, it actually looks gray in the in the tube, but it's it, it's almost like um, it it kind of separates out, and the, the gray will settle in the recesses, and the and the the actual white will uh, will go uh, will go on the on the highlights. So, yeah, and and uh, the the try unfortunately trying trying to get every, uh, everything on on camera. Now, here's something interesting. This is dry. This is now dry. Um, so, I actually have something in the neighborhood of about two, two almost five hours worth of uh, painting. When it came to do the figures inside of uh, inside of this car, uh, and um, by comparison, the 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 time the time that it took me to do 
this one to this uh, to this level would have saved me a great deal of time. And and so if you're doing a lot of figures that you don't need to look at really closely, there's some value to these guys. And um, uh, so, uh, like you know, it it's it's dry. It's it's basically it's basically ready to go. Um, so uh, you know, in in terms of that, for for doing for doing little uh, little figures, uh, these ones are definitely worth. I, I would say definitely worth checking out. So um, anyway, that's kind of my 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 demonstration f uh, for uh, for the night. Um, now, uh, Ralph, since uh, since you're here, um, you've had a chance to use the uh, the oil brushers. Now, these are ones that uh, just because of my setup here, uh, and I need to. I frankly, I need uh, need to get a better webcam, um, or I need to do something to get my video camera hooked up to this computer so that you can actually see stuff with uh, a greater degree of um, uh, uh, a, a greater degree of accuracy. Um, and, uh, and so, oh, by the way, Megan is just pointing out to me, uh, the trick about using Lindor chocolate wrappers as a mask for windows, um, is going to be part of the video for, uh, with, with, uh, Cloverdale Rail with Marcel's, uh, 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 piece. But apparently what you need is you need the, the, the Lindor chocolates with the red wrappers and... Uh, what you do is you actually, I'm, ju I'm just going to, the, um, actually, I wonder if I, here, I'm going to switch off to the mini, uh, to the mini cam, um, turn the light back on, get, get that out of the way. Um, this, uh, actually this might, uh, might be better to demonstrate, but you basically, what you do is you carefully, uh, peel it off, uh, peel it off the backing and then, um, you can apply it to a model and then just rub it, uh, rub it down, uh, down onto it. Now, usually what I do is I, I take an X-Acto knife and I just, uh, and I, and I cut it, um, and then apply, uh, uh, apply that strip. And, um, I'm not the, you can see a little bit of the foil, uh, here cause the paint doesn't stick to the foil very, uh, very well. But I used it to mask off the windows, and it held to the detail really well. Uh, it's a, a trick I picked up from uh, a, a guy on Facebook who goes by the name uh, The Empty Sprue. And uh, kudos needs to be given there. It is not, it's not mine, but it is something that, uh, that I tried, and I thought uh, this worked out really, really, really well. So... Um, uh, so, so anyway, there, there's, uh, there, there's that one. So yes, Vinny, I do need to get a, uh, a video capture card because I, I, my video camera that I, I have a new video camera that I'm now working with. Um, and, uh, it's the same, uh, I think it's the same type that, that you have. So yes, investing in a video capture card, I think is definitely something that I need to do. So Vinny, your dinner's done. Uh, I was, uh, uh having a uh, cooking dinner, uh, be, uh, before, um, but uh, wanted to do that, and actually, in in many respects, unless there's any other other uh, questions, uh, we're almost ready to um, uh, to wrap it up. Uh, my my daughter here is frantically making gestures at me, and uh, what she wanted to do was uh, also point out the differences with the the Games Workshop paints. Of course, have a number of different types, and one of them uh, are the the base paints. Then you have uh, layers, and each of them have a different label. Uh, then you have their shades, which are basically acrylic washes. And these are, these are really, really good. If, if nothing else, these ones are very much worth investing in. Um, they, uh, and now, of course, you have the, co uh, the contrast paints. But they also, have, oops, they also have a series of what are called technical paints. What? the hell maybe that should be the super chat the <laughs> something um my daughter highland dances and spontaneously the computer decided to start playing bagpipe music specifically that was the padibas uh which my uh, son Hi. is learning anyway 
I, yeah, I don't know. My computer decided to start playing bagpipes. Uh, not sure. Stuff around here happens spontaneously. Um, I think I might have accidentally hit play on the on the keyboard. Am I having haggis? Oh. I... The uh, truth is, we are, we are actually going, uh, among other places, we are going to Scotland this summer. He's getting so. old! Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, gremlins. Uh, Scottish gremlins. You know, you can't even call them le leprechauns. Scottish, uh, Scottish gremlins. I... Li little, little, wee, wee little Nessies. So, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, so, uh, someone said... Uh, so, sounds like Cape Breton. Well, truth is, this is a Cape Breton face. I was born and raised in Western Canada, but my uh, my dad and my extended family are from uh, from Cape Breton Island. So anyway, there's a bit of a history there. Yeah, the the Roy. Uh, yes, there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of different things. So. Uh, Sparky, I am going, uh, in August, uh, we're, we're actually doing a, um, as a gift from my parents to me for a particular chronological threshold that I am crossing, uh, we're, we are going on a cruise around the British Isles. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Don't, don't, please, please don't feel, feel sorry for me. And, uh, so, uh, August 10th, let's see, on August 10th, I will be, I think, in Glasgow. And um, so maybe I can take the train. Um, so oh, so we'll, uh, we'll, ha we'll have to see. Uh, <laughs> I just saw the comment, at least it wasn't a banjo. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know where to get get a banjo around here, but they're a little bit... Yeah, um, th yes, Marcel, 30 again. That's a, a, a very... 30 with 20 years experience. You're welcome. <sighs> anyway. I think with that, with that, uh, do we have any, uh, do we have any other, uh, other questions? We really got, we really got off the rails here. Um, up next for me is to, uh, is I'm going to be using these, uh, these oil finishers. What? You were the one that did the pun. Yes. <sighs> So yes, Norman, we we are taking the train. Uh, we, we are taking the train from uh, from Gatwick down to Southampton, for 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 certain. And um, the oh, uh, Matt, were you asking? Do I do clear over windows with regard to the um, uh, to to uh, with with regard to the uh, to the passenger car? Um, normally, yes. This time, this time, no. Uh, Partly because I was using these these foil um, uh, these foil masks for the first time, and they do leave a, behind a little bit of a residue that you need to clean off with a cotton swab. So I, I may go back and and uh, and and possibly paint that on, but we'll, I'll I'll have to see. I want to see how it looks once I get the masks off, uh, and and it is almost done. Uh, by by the way, the um, you can see you can see the uh, the the decals along here. Um, so Lieutenant Dan, what about? Oh yes, and I, I need to point this this one out. This has one custom decal, and it's right there uh, on uh, on the end. So um, the uh, so Lieutenant Dan, uh, weathering dark locomotives. Yes, in in fact. Um, uh, I'm currently working on an N scale uh, Southern Pacific, but I mean it's it's kind of a dark it's kind of a dark gray, and it will eventually be renumbered into a uh, into into uh, into a uh, a Union Pacific um, uh, patch. Yeah, my brain's just not functioning. Um, oh, we have sunlight, lots and lots of sunlight that just just came out. We've had uh, welcome to Calgary. Yeah. So anyway. Um, and uh, so, 
about weathering dark locomotives uh one of my upcoming commissions is actually a steam locomotive that's going to be it's black so there's going to be a great example of something that is coming up that uh it, it's for um the switch list rick stone king uh is sending me one of of his um of his steam locomotives uh, and it's black, and then I, I, somebody else has approached me about, uh, actually Will has approached me about possibly doing a, a 44 tonner, uh, which is all black. And, and so there are black locomotives coming. Um, and besides, my own road is, or my own major road is Canadian National, which is mostly black. Um, so there, there is, uh, dark locomotives are, are certainly in the cards, and they are, they are certainly coming. Um, so... Um, Huh. Should we do a monthly live stream calendar so that you know when to come to the live streams? That's a good question. That uh, that that's actually that's actually Ma uh, Megan's question. But um, so and weathering a cement hopper, I I may be able to, I may be able to uh, to be able to do that. Anyway, with that, um, so yes, there are dark locomotives coming. Uh, weathering a cement hopper, I, I think that's yeah. something that probably would be worth, worthwhile uh, worthwhile doing. Mm -hmm. um, also, with regard to a calendar, uh, I don't have a regular live chat. In fact, I was actually going to do this chat last night, but due to a technical problem, namely because of the uh, spray can that I used this, uh, every once in a while you get a defective spray can and uh, the straw that feeds it up into the nozzle broke. It literally exploded in my hand just after I finished priming uh, these two items, which is the reason why the, I only have these two items for tonight. Um, and, and so normally, uh, and they are very good about replacing it. Uh, but, uh, due to those technical difficulties last, uh, last night and primer all over my hands, uh, I, I had to delay to tonight. So normally I like to do uh, a thir a Thursday night, but, uh, because I don't want to interfere with, uh, with where others are at. Um, but I'm certainly very pleased with, uh, with everybody who was, uh, was part of, uh, was part of tonight. Um, and, uh, and I think with that, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to just wrap this up thank you very much to both uh roy hardwick and uh the antis and uh, sparky for their uh for their uh for my first super chats uh th thank you and uh I, again thank you very very much for doing this and by the way thank you for not putting any more super chats out there because megan was going to put this on me next live stream next li apparently next live stream i get makeup <laughs> And with that, <laughs> anyway, and, and, and so with that, uh, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Uh, good luck, and may you keep on track. I'm just going to put the, I'm just going to put the overlay on. Oh, we got, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Okay. 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 We're con we're continuing. Roy just donated, and uh, I get makeup. Okay. <sighs> okay. If anybody wants to stick around for uh for for the for the makeup for the makeup, but uh, Roy. I'll bring more next time. <laughs> yes. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Glasses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is hard because you're on the side. <laughs> okay, I've got my eyes closed. I have no idea what's what's going on. Don't worry, I'm horrible at doing makeup. That doesn't give me confidence. Exactly. Okay, we done? No. <sighs> Just wait. Okay. How do I look? You didn't... <laughs>
Your eye wrinkles are weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Bill, I you're uncomfortable? I'm the one getting the makeup on my face. So I'll bring yeah. some red lipstick next time and mm. maybe some bright nail polish. Okay. Anyway, with with that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to sign off. <laughs> Good luck, and may you keep on track. You're welcome. You got 40 bucks from that, or something like that. 